Hey cat lovers, welcome back to another video. Tuxedo cats, also called tuxies, are known for their unique coat pattern which resembles a classic tuxedo outfit. However, their unique coats are just one of many interesting features of this cat, which you'll soon learn. By the way, if you've been following this channel for a while, yes, we've shared tuxedo cat facts in the past. This is simply an updated version with some of those same facts being more detailed and other facts being new. As a side note, the Purring Journal's mascot, Maggie, is especially happy that we're talking about tuxies again. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to our channel for more cat videos. Now let's dive into 10 surprising facts about tuxedo cats. Number 1. Tuxedo is not a breed. A common misconception about tuxedo cats is that they are a specific breed. The truth is, tuxedo is a coat pattern, not a breed. Other coat patterns, for example, include calico, tortoiseshell, and tabby. Breeds, on the other hand, are Siamese, Scottish Fold, Persian, etc. Interestingly, there are a lot of different breeds of cats that can have a tuxedo coat pattern. Just a few of the most popular ones are the British Shorthair, American Shorthair, and the Maine Coon. On the other hand, the tuxedo coat pattern refers to a bicolored cat with black and white sections. With tuxedo cats, black is the dominant coat color. A tuxedo cat's belly and paws are usually white, though the placement of the white heavily varies from cat to cat. Some tuxedo cats have markings on the face as well. Number 2. Tuxedo cats don't have a dominant gender. In the case of some coat patterns, sex is a determinant factor. Calico and tortoiseshell cats, for example, are always female unless there is a genetic abnormality. This is because coat color is attached to the X chromosome. The female cats have two X chromosomes, while male cats only have one. The coloring of calico and tortoiseshell cats can only be produced with two X chromosomes. The only way that a male calico or tortoiseshell cat could exist is if it had a genetic abnormality that led to it having XXY chromosomes instead of XY chromosomes. Tuxedo cats, on the other hand, do not have a dominant gender. While you might suspect they would only be on females as well because of their bicolored coats, their coloring isn't linked to their chromosomes. This means that both males and females can be tuxedo cats. Number 3. Their coat pattern is random. The process by which tuxedo cats get their white spots is unique and fascinating. To understand how a tuxedo cat's coat pattern is formed, you need to know about the process of coat coloring in the womb. Pigment cells are responsible for the black coloring of a tuxedo cat. Without pigment cells, the fur will be white. When tuxedo cats are in the womb, pigment cells disperse throughout their skin to determine the color of their fur when it grows. In the past, scientists believed that tuxedo cats were produced as a result of slow-moving or ineffective pigment cells. It was believed that the pigment cells would not reach every part of the cat's body before the cat was born. In other words, the parts that the pigment cells did reach would be black and the parts where it did not reach would be white. However, more recent studies suggest that the distribution of the pigment cells is completely random and white spots are a byproduct of a faulty KIT gene. The KIT gene is what determines if a cat's coat will exhibit any white. It was found that the pigment cells multiply at random, and the faulty KIT gene decreases the rate of multiplication rather than slowing down the cells themselves, as was previously suggested. So there are not enough cells to cover the entire cat, which leads to white spots. Number 4. No two tuxedo cats are the same. Just like no two fingerprints are identical, no two tuxedo coat patterns are the same either. This means that each tuxedo cat's coat is unique. As mentioned in fact number 3, the pigment cells multiply at random. Their spread and coverage do not follow any genetic blueprint. While the colors of black and white themselves are genetically coded, their manifestation in the fur is not. So, the white spots appear differently on every single tuxedo. There is some discourse among communities regarding the true definition of a tuxedo cat. Some believe that only black cats with white paws and white belly should be considered true tuxedos. However, others will argue that any predominantly black cat with white markings is a tuxedo. Regardless, every tuxedo cat looks different. Some tuxies will have white feet and a white belly. Some will have white markings on their faces. Genetically speaking, no two tuxedo cats can ever look exactly the same. Even if you clone a tuxedo cat, its coat will look different. So, even two genetically identical cats could still have different tuxedo markings, hard as that may be to believe. This is because, as mentioned, the pigment cells do not follow any predetermined genetic path. As a result, the white spots of any two tuxedo cats will never be the same. Number 5. Tuxedo Cats Have Had Famous Companions It should come as no surprise that the fancy tuxedo cat has had some fancy companions over the years. I say this because plenty of famous and influential people have owned tuxedos. Among the most well-documented are William Shakespeare, Beethoven, and Isaac Newton. So, while the world's most famous plays, songs, and scientific text were being written, a tuxedo cat was right there. Not only have tuxies had some famous companions, but they've also had wealthy ones too. At one point, the world's richest cat was a tuxedo. 
A tuxedo cat named Sparky was owned by an incredibly wealthy owner. When the owner passed away in 1998, they passed all their money down to Sparky. Sparky's inheritance was around 6.3 million US dollars. That's a lot of money. So whether influential, powerful, or wealthy, tuxedo cats seem to attract some pretty notable people. And for good reason. Just look how sophisticated they look. Number 6. Tuxedos are found all over the world. Since tuxedo cats are not a specific breed, but rather a coat pattern, they are not limited by geographical area. This means that unlike other cats which are more common in certain countries, tuxedos can be found all over the world. Since the breeds that typically display tuxedo coat colors can also be found all around the world, tuxedos are truly versatile international cats. You can find tuxedos all around, in many different countries and even on different continents. This makes tuxedo cats widely available for those who want to adopt one. No matter where you are in the world, chances are you can find a tuxedo cat near you. This is especially great news for tuxie enthusiasts. Number 7. More tuxedo cats need to be adopted. More cats need homes, including many tuxedos. This might be because tuxies are predominantly black, and studies show that black cats are less likely to be adopted than cats of other colors. Prejudice against black cats is known as black cat bias. Researchers have found that this bias is due to psychological reasons and superstitions. If you want to learn more about this phenomenon, check out our other video called Top 10 Reasons to Adopt a Black Cat. But the good news for tuxedo lovers is that there are plenty to bring home. As we mentioned in fact number 6, tuxedo cats can be found all over the world. This means chances are a tuxedo cat is looking for a home near you. Regardless of whether or not you are deciding to adopt a tuxedo, it is a great idea to look into the cats and shelters near you. If you are thinking of adding a feline friend to your family, look at local shelters. You may find a tuxedo cat or another cat that is a perfect addition to your household. Number 8. Tuxedos are high achievers. Some tuxedo cats have gone on to do things one could have never imagined a cat could do. For example, a tuxedo cat named Roderick reached the summit of Mount Everest with his owner. This is an incredible feat for a tuxedo, let alone any cat was about to accomplish. Tuxedos have also made their mark in the political sphere. A tuxie named Tuxedo Stan ran for mayor of the Canadian town of Halifax in 2012. Yes, seriously. He even created his own political party, the Tuxedo Party of Canada. While unfortunately, Tuxedo Stan did not win, he made ripples in the community, as you can probably imagine. The Halifax City Council even made a grant to spay and neuter feral cats in the area. Sadly, Tuxedo Stan died in 2013, but a foundation called the Tuxedo Party of Canada Cat Welfare Society continues to work for cats in his honor. Another fun fact is that one tuxedo even infiltrated the highest level of the American government, the executive branch. A tuxedo cat named Sox lived in the White House when Bill Clinton was President of the United States. He was given the official title of First Cat of the United States. Number 9. Tuxedo Cats Are Pop Culture Icons Tuxedo cats are very prevalent in pop culture, making appearances in books, movies, and television for years. Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat is one of the most popular cats in pop culture, and it just so happens that this anthropomorphic cat is a tuxie. The Cat in the Hat, like many tuxedo cats, is predominantly black with a white belly and white face. He is undoubtedly one of the most famous examples of tuxedo cats in pop culture. However, there are plenty of other recognizable contenders. Felix the Cat, though less popular today, is one of the most famous and recognizable cartoons of all time. He is emblematic of the silent film era and debuted over a century ago in 1919. He continued to make appearances in media over the 20th century and is still used today. He, like the Cat in the Hat, embodies what is known as Tuxitude, the reputation that tuxedo cats have for being playful and intelligent, even somewhat mischievous. If you have a tuxedo cat, let us know if you think Tuxitude is real in the comments. Speaking on behalf of Miss Maggie, it definitely seems real. But regardless of if there is any truth to Tuxitude, it certainly has become associated with tuxedo cats partly due to their on-screen reputation. Sylvester from the Looney Tunes is another example of a tuxedo cat on screen. Sylvester, known for his endless antics with the yellow canary Tweety, is a cultural icon. All of these fictional cats and more have cemented the tuxedo cat into mainstream culture. Tuxedos will no doubt continue to serve as the inspiration for more pop culture icons as time goes on. Number 10. There are lots of tuxedo myths. With such a fancy looking cat, it's no surprise that rumors and myths surrounding the tuxie are rampant. These myths range from believable to absurd. One of the most humorous ones is the rumor that tuxedos are the only cats allowed to attend the Metropolitan Opera in New York. This hilarious account stems from the fact that because tuxedo cats meet the dress code, hence their fancy coat, they are allowed to attend the opera. The truth is, the opera doesn't even have a dress code. They also, sadly, don't allow cats. 
Another pervasive rumor about the tuxedo is that they were worshipped by the ancient Egyptians. However, there is no evidence to prove that this is true. While the ancient Egyptians are known to have been very fond of cats, it's unknown whether or not tuxedo cats were among them. It's more likely that jungle cats and African wild cats were the most common in ancient Egyptian society. Whether or not any of these cats had tuxedo coats is unknown, but there's no evidence to suggest they were. So for now, this myth just remains that, a myth. Other tuxedo myths suggest that they have magical properties or that they have specific personality traits. I'm sure if you dig deeper, you can find even more eyebrow-raising claims. There you have it. As you now know, these black and white cats are quite interesting. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Also, which of these facts did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.